Karen Sullivan. I'm a certified sommelier. I'm the general manager of Acme Fine Wines in the Napa Valley, and I'm also a very proud member of the Wine Sisterhood. Valentine's Day is just around the corner, and so today we are here at beautiful Farmstead Restaurant in downtown St. Helena to talk about wine lists. Usually Valentine's Day means a beautiful dinner and a bottle of wine with your sweetie, but sometimes the wine list can be even a little bit intimidating. Today we're gonna to find out how to outsmart the wine list. In my former life as a professional sommelier in Manhattan, I was in charge of helping people navigate a wine list and really find the best wines that would pair perfectly with their meal and fit really comfortably within their budget. And I'm gonna share some of my secrets with you today. Wine lists are organized in a number of different ways. Traditionally, you might see them comprised of categories like grape varietals or regions of the world. A fun new trend that you might be seeing in wine lists these days is wine lists organized by style. So maybe categories like velvety or bubbly or robust. Should you be afraid of ordering the cheapest bottle of wine on the list? Well, I mean, from my point of view, every single wine was selected to be on a wine list for a reason. They all passed the test, and the person who set up the wine list chose it for a reason. So something eventually has to be the cheapest wine on the list. And if it really is the right bottle for you, do not hesitate. Go ahead and order it. And what if two people are having radically different meals? Say, one person orders shellfish and the other is having beef. Well, there really are no hard and fast wine pairing rules, and they're broken all of the time. So. I like to meet in the middle somewhere and perhaps get a bottle of a lighter style red wine with high acidity that might work with both dishes. Maybe a Pinot Noir or a Beaujolais from France. You could also ask your server or the wine director about their assortment of half bottles. You might be able to each find a style of wine that matches perfectly with your dish. And lots of people of course ask about ordering wine by the glass. Now typically if you're going to be ordering more than a couple of wines by the glass at a restaurant, I'd steer you towards looking at purchasing by the bottle. It ends up being a much better value. But really, if the restaurant is offering a great by the glass option that you know will be just right with your dish, that's exactly what it's there for. So don't hesitate to order a great glass of wine. On special occasions such as Valentine's Day, many restaurants will offer prefix menus with wine tasting flights to accompany each course of your meal. Give the sommelier a chance to show off their wine pairing skills, and this can be another great way to experience perfect wine and food pairings for a small additional fee. And now we move into some really delicate waters, sending back a bottle of wine. Now, if it's a bottle that you selected and you just don't really like it, I'm sorry, but I really don't suggest that you send back that bottle of wine. However, if it's something that one of the servers or sommeliers recommended to you, and you took their word for it that it would be the perfect wine for your meal and it simply is not, then you are within your rights to please request an alternate bottle of wine for your meal. And then also, if you suspect that a wine might be flawed in some way, either corked or in other way unsound, invite your sommelier to take a taste with you and together you can both request or determine if it's time to get a new bottle of wine to the table. <laughs> The bottom line is, if you're in a fine dining restaurant, ask the Somme for help. There are more trained wine professionals in restaurants than ever. And at the end of the day, it's their job to know the wine list, not yours. So don't be afraid to ask for help. Well, that sums up wine lists for today. I hope I've helped shed some light on this somewhat complicated subject. But if you do have any questions, be sure to email me at winesisterhood.com. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.